All right, friends, it's T-Man, and I'm uh, back with, uh, I guess you could say, an educational video, man. I don't know. I just saw this. It popped up because uh, sometimes there's info on here. You're reading stuff like Business Insider, and uh, it says it is under the health section. It says a bodybuilder ditched his low-carb diet and started eating potatoes six times a day. He got in the best shape of his life. He's a bodybuilder. I don't know. Steroids, not steroids. I can't really say. Anyways, does it really matter? Okay, so he says here that uh, bodybuilder Mark Taylor ate a low-carb, high-protein diet for decades. His career never reached the heights he wanted, but everything changed when he started eating carbs. Do carbs build muscles? I'm t this is complex carbohydrates, it's kind of obvious. Complex carbohydrates. He's not, e he's not eating simple carbs, okay? Taylor now eats six portions of potatoes a day. What did I tell you before? What did I tell you about sarcoplasmic hypertrophy in my channel? You have to go out and find out for yourself whether it builds these phony muscles and make you look massive like these steroid people. Get it? All right. So Taylor now eats six portions of potatoes a day and one Mr. Universe in 2023. Well, there you go. Six, do you, do you eat six portions? Of, do you eat six huge, massive potatoes a day? <laughs> See, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Go to the gym, it's, eat, eat these six fucking massive potatoes a day, six fucking portions a day. And um, yeah, find out what happens and you'll find out really quick. That you're going to build these artificial sarcoplasmic hypertrophy muscles. Okay, man? It's really simple. Anybody who's ever tried anything will get results in whatever they're doing. They'll find out for themselves. You need to go find out for yourself. Experiment and find out whether it does do what he says it does. Okay? I know it does. I've mentioned it before on my channel. But like I said, if you want to find out for yourself, just do what he did. Just copy his thing and you'll get the same results. It's kind of obvious. Anyways, I don't know what else to say there, man. I don't know how, how much length, how much more lengthy this is. The, as a competitive bodybuilder, Mike Mark Taylor spent decades training hard and eating strict. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck he's training hard, not whatever. He's a na native of Scotland, whatever. He made drastic changes. Taylor started eating carbs and lots of them. Yes, complex carbs, complex carbs and lots of them. Please get it correct, man. Mostly in the form of what? Potatoes, which are what? Complex carbohydrates. They're the ones that get you massive. Suddenly, Taylor, who was 42 at the time, was finally able to grow the muscle he'd always wanted. He grew the muscle he always wanted eating glycogen. Now, people tell me that glycogen is not a protein, guys. Well, then if glycogen is not a protein, right? Okay, which it is not. It technically, it's the pro amino acids put together can make this glucose, but yeah, technically, it's not. It's not really. A, it's not really. It's not a protein, but it's a, they can convert to and whatever make this glucose. Okay, whatever. The point is, uh, anyway. So yeah, so it's glucose. So you're telling me uh, that that glycogen builds muscles? I thought proteins build muscles. See what I mean? So how is he able to reach this height? in mass says he was able to grow muscle does glycogen grow muscles i thought protein does he'd always wanted and he started winning the competitions he's always dreamed of Ooh, eating potatoes so i guess protein doesn't build muscles anymore right because it's based on an adaptation process when muscles are really micro injured protein synthesis needs to exceed this breakdown get it man and that's how muscles are built now, if you're building sarcoplasmic muscles, you're eating potatoes. If you're eating potatoes, you're creating sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, artificial muscle growth. So, uh, 2023, Taylor won Mr. Universe Masters over 45, one of the biggest worldwide bodybuilding competitions over the previous 10 years. He crowned with Mr. England, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, there you go, man. <laughs> While you can't discredit Taylor's dedication to training and nutrition, uh, a lot of his later in life success comes down to what? Potatoes make you massive, bro, like a steroid guy, get it? 
He might, you, uh, this might shock those who have been led to believe that carbs are the enemy of fat loss. Well, carbs are the enemy if you don't want to get uh, fucking metabolic diseases and a bunch of other stuff. It can be toxic to load all that glycogen in your muscle. It can be very bad for you. He's going to find out down the road in his 50s and then 60s. He's going to really get massively sick or whatever. Maybe an enlarged prostate. Who the fuck knows? Okay, so the enemy of fat loss. The anti-carb movement has been around. Well, it's artificial because uh, meat, the, your meat, your natural diet, there's no potatoes in it. There's no carbs. It's a slave diet, bro. So, yeah, the low-carb Atkins diet was popular. Da, 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 da. But this, this is bodybuilding. He wants to look pumped on stage. He wants to see this guy. There he is. He wants to look a certain way, this so-called Taylor guy. So he's eating potatoes. And, uh, yeah, I know it doesn't spike in insulin. Um, it does spike it, okay? Various guides for decades. He did a lot of stuff for fat loss. Where a low carb diet, Atkins diet was popular at the end of the 20th century. Fat low keto diet gained traction 2000, and now there is increased fear mongering around blood sugar spikes caused by, among other things, eating carbs. Yes, simple carbs, I guess. Um, complex carbs don't spike insulin, and the absorption rate is really slow. Okay, can can uh, carbs can uh, replenish energy stores in the muscles? I told you, that's what it is. You're loading an energy source in there that is making your muscles blow up with glycogen. It's phony. He says, there is no denying that protein is important for muscle growth. It is. If something is damaged, then you need a lot of protein to fucking repair it, don't you? Okay, protein contains amino acids, yeah, which are the building blocks of muscle, but carbs are important too. What are they important for, dude? Why don't you mention it? He doesn't mention jack shit. Carbs provide the body with energy. Yeah, that's what it does, energy. That is stored in the muscles as what? Glycogen. When we exercise, we deplete this glycogen. Not necessarily. You don't, you don't, you don't deplete all of it if it's you loading it in the muscle, bro. You're not depleting it. You're trying to increase it. That's the whole point, to look, to give off this artificial look that you've built muscles, which you haven't. So eating carbs after work are, uh, pl replenishes them. Yeah, it replenishes that which you burned off. But when glycogen exceeds this breakdown, and you are doing that right now, eating six large potatoes a day throughout the entire day, so you're exceeding that breakdown. That's what I'm trying to explain to people. Are you eating six large, large steaks a day? No, you're not. Now, he's eating six large potatoes a day. So that means that, that glycogen synthesis is exceeding that breakdown. So yeah, when you have more energy, you can also train harder. Well, yeah, you're gonna, you could train harder. You could, there's a bunch of stuff going on there, sure. Okay, alongside eating right in the right quantity, uh, to build muscle, you need to train hard with progressive overload. No, you don't. You need to damage muscles, and then they repair and remodel. But if you want to build phony muscles, which are not controlled by folistat myostatin, and the satellite cell, then eat fucking glycogen. Eat fucking complex carbs, dude, and you'll blow up like a balloon. And ensure you're resting enough. Yeah, rest. Yeah, progressive overload. No, that's not how muscles are built. They have an MND size limit, dude. By focusing on carbs that release energy slowly, in Taylor's case, sweet, sweet potatoes, and see, re re releases energy slowly. It has enabled to maintain relatively stable energy levels throughout the day, eating potatoes. While well, release energy faster training, however, help replenish glycogen stores faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't want to go into the whole thing, man. This is boring. Taylor started bodybuilding at a young age. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Yeah, 19, whatever is a young age. Okay. 19 is young. Yeah, it's old already. He built whatever, whatever, whatever relationship. He's Scottish. Okay. Taylor, Taylor is now 52. Okay. I guess he's done with that, right? Is that it? I don't know. So, yeah. And I, he, eats some, he eats a lot of slave diet, too. A mix of a slave diet as well. That's his problems. He doesn't know what builds muscles. He thinks carbohydrates build muscles. But tell me what you think about that, friends. I got to go. Like, subscribe, support the channel. I'll see you in the next one. See? Potatoes. They got to build you more phonier muscles than the last time. See you in the next one. Ciao, friends.